I, I spoke with someone a while back who said that from conventional radiation treatment, he received a secondary cancer, bladder cancer, but proton beam would completely eliminate that possibility because you are focusing directly on the prostate. It eliminates collateral damage. That's what you mean by collateral damage is affecting other tissues and the possibility of secondary cancers, correct? That is exactly right. You know, we're aiming to help minimize the risk of secondary malignancies associated with um, the additional radiation that's scattered through the pelvis. And that elimination, that unnecessary radiation is the precision exactly that we're talking about. Yeah. Is that pretty rare, though, for that to occur when a person is going through conventional radiation treatment? The secondary malignancies are, you know, are not as common um, with, with adults, especially adults that get prostate cancer, because typically it's a late stage disease. Okay. Many times what we see, especially for young men who get prostate cancer, who have 20 to 30 to 50 years more of life, it's even more important for them. And when we think about it from a pediatric standpoint, pediatrics has become standard with proton therapy for exactly the reason that we're talking about. Because the younger you are, the higher risk you are to develop these secondary malignancies. So for men with prostate cancer, especially the young men, those are the ones that have the highest risk of developing those secondary malignancies because of the time duration when secondary malignancies occur, they typically occur 10 years or later after the initial treatment. 